My name is Jamie Hahn, and we are in the Department of Laboratory Medicine within the Clinical Center of the National Institutes of Health. Primarily, I do microscopic evaluation for the patients that are enrolled here um, on the study. So if they have any sort of need to get a bone marrow biopsy done, then I contribute to the analysis of that biopsy. And that means um, identifying genetic abnormalities within the samples. So I grew up in South Florida with a love for the natural world and a love for science. And while I was in college, I got a job as a medical assistant in a family practice, and I got exposed to the medical field, and I started to enjoy a lot of what the medical field had to offer. So I wanted to combine my love for science and my love, my newfound love for medicine, as well as being trained right on the bench to learn good laboratory technique and practices. Well, my area of expertise is microscopic analysis. So morphology or the appearance of, of cells under a microscope. I've been recently getting into flow cytometry, which is the identification of cells, not through microscopic analysis, but through the fluorescence that's emitted from those antibodies. So it's a more specific way to identify cells, but it's really gathering similar data. It's very exciting for me because I'm used to um, identifying cells just on the way that they look, the way that I see them. So it's always fun to learn new, new things, and we get to chase some rabbit trails, but, but that's what research is all about, and we never know what you might learn. It can be very exciting, especially when you're you know, dealing with potentially coming up with some good information that can help doctors, again, all over the world in any setting to better treat patients. And we have a lot of studies that deal with very rare diseases and the importance of, of drawing from the international community would be, of course, gathering as many patients with these rare diseases as possible together in one place and potentially produce some effective therapies. Rare diseases, unfortunately, don't get a lot of attention on the pharmaceutical commercial industry because it, they're not as highly in need. So here at NIH, it's exciting to see that the rare diseases get attention. We hopefully will have a lot of better understanding of genetic pathways that lead to disease. We actually have so much data and we don't have enough people to do the research. So we, we really need young and energetic people. What's, what's also exciting is to see all the collaborative projects between the different scientific disciplines that are going on now. Biologists working with engineers, working with physicists. So if you have a passion for engineering, you know, but, but you're maybe wanting to do something a little bit different than design a bridge, you could potentially be designing an artificial organ. There's so many applications um, in medical research right now that don't require you to, to be a biologist. And it's always encouraging to inspire people to just to explore their world and to expand their horizons and potentially, you never know, will that will lead in the future.